before the game. Sorry about the delay. Um, just getting into the game. Now we are going to run on board with Strife Hesh. He's picking up a kill. Just to give you an update, it's 18 to 15 in the favour here of, uh, I believe, the Defense Lords Warriors. Uh, as we watch, uh, Jevons now taking the yellow stairs, making sure that there's two players. There's one next to you to his right hand side. Nate comes over. He's going to get this kill. It's going to be a nice little pick. No, he does. He turns away at the wrong time. And that is cob timing. Again with me this afternoon is the one and only Gooch. Gooch, what a great start. It's going to be a close fault battle right now. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, nothing separating the two teams after two minutes in. I mean, we did see a close foot contest on last on stream was Insight versus Zeko. After two minutes, they were neck and neck as well. But we both know what happened there, don't we, Silverback? That yeah. just went into an absolute tear. But now, speaking of a tear, Hess just uh, trying to unleash some bullets onto that B flag there. Two flags completely opening up there. So they are going to get control of that B. They've got A in their favour as well. With only nine bullets left in this vector, I'm not really too sure what this player can do. He contested, he spins around. Oh, that's what he can do. Last bullet gets a kill on sense there. And we're going to get on board with Equi Javins as he's just flying forward. As they are trying to contest that B flag, they do manage to get it in their control. So they've got C and B now. And this is proving to be a very close foot contest. Of course, this is winner bracket round number three of the pre Insomnia 52 Cup as George going in towards that B flag. Not for long enough, though. No, not at all. So we're going to default onto Jevons right now. Jevons pushing through on the left-hand side. They are losing b -block. Is he going to take the kill? Yes, he does. It was nice and easy. Jump shots around the corner. It's a player to his left. He's got to hold his own right now. Let's see if the safety system comes into effect. It does indeed. He goes for the drop. Literally lays down, picks a kill and gets a wall bang. That's a great play. There's going to be another player spawning. They're going on that Green Street side. Are they going to pick this off with one, two? Yes, he does. Nicely done. Doing a great defensive work here on this B domination, but one's going to pop out right in front of him. He jumps back. He knows he's there. His teammates going to back him up. Surely there's one, two. Doesn't get the second. And Swaney gets that kill. So we're going to jump on board with George. He's currently 15 and 10 with three captures. It's 51 to 54. Three points to difference. It is in the favour of Equi here. And they're picking a great oh. kill. And Equi are the team that did take out Exertus, the guys that got through to G3 on their mint on their uh, event that they had. So it's a big win already for these guys. They do seem a strong team right now. Yeah, they're looking very, very strong indeed. Silverback is now Foster pushing on towards his A flag yet again. There's going to be a player coming up top, mate. Does manage to dodge away, not managing to hold the A flag for long enough. Did manage to get it neutralised momentarily. But of course, that has been lost now. It's currently 66 to 57, so only nine points the difference, 10 points the difference now. That is in favour of Team Equi. Yeah. Equi Foster now trying to push. He's just going to cover this left, right side here. Sorry. As you see with Oracle mode, there will be a player attacking there. He's going to pick him up. Yes, he does. That's a nice little turn. Just cleaning up nicely. And this is what, he, what his role is, really, is to take this defence of this mid map. As Jevons is going to pick a kill on the left, but his teammate comes in and Copley takes a two piece, but he gets taken down, which means we're on board with, Stry with Strife Hesh. He has a lot of work to do. The last 10 seconds, it's going to tick over a couple more. I can't see them gaining anything back equi just seems to be a little bit stronger and their slaying power is immense compared to the others 2019 it's jevons and george that are doing all the work slaying wise and also capturing wise great place in these now really warriors need to take the initiative maybe go for a one-man cap on their home flag and then push for that bead on just to close that points down by maybe two to three points it's going to be a hard one to call but equi do seem the stronger team let's go on board with jevins jevins currently 20 and 8 great score for him right there especially on the first half 20 to 8 with five caps as well so not only is he top fragging not only is he top of his leaderboard he's also top on objective plays as well he extends that to six points on the board for his capture. So he's got the most caps in the entire game. Federation is still 68, uh, winning 85 to 69, sorry. So that's 16 points of difference. They're still not out of it as of yet. Warriors can still get themselves back into this. Yeah, Equi done exactly what I suggested that the guys from Warriors should do. They let one on A, they then push for B. Took a huge advantage. They are losing it now. They come over the top. Is he going to take it run out? Don't. But Warriors managing to gain that B Dom back. Foster going underneath. He's going 
for the counter play. Yes, he does. Picks off one. Doesn't Ooh. get the second. That's really, really close. And Sens is going for the wall bang. He gets taken out. So let's go on board here with Copley. Copley going top stairs, looking for that. Already holding B and C. Just making sure no one's there. Looking to go zig. And if we look on the map, no one's there to stop him. There's going to be one player that's going to come through A. He's top on yellow. Is he going to see him? I don't think he is. He's going to take the play down his right-hand side. Is he going to clean up off there? No, he doesn't. The sense manages to see him. And then we jump on board now with Equi Jevins. 21 and 12. Taken four kills. Not really picked up any... Sorry, taken four deaths. Not really taken any more kills. Is he going to go for the defensive play? Goes for the wall bang. Someone's there. Bit of, bit of frame jump in there. Needs to go for the reload. Otherwise, he's not going to get any further. Takes a kill though on Copley. I tell you what, at the moment it is a Jevin show as well as Jordan just pushing forward. Foster and Sen both literally taking their kills off a slight, slight, slight notch, but nothing really to show about. Sen's clearing up on this B Dom. Pretty certain that you're going to see these guys take it's 97, 98 now to 110, 12 points of difference. It's going to be an interesting end here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, 12 points for three minutes. There's still a lot to play for. Equi going up big there. Three down momentarily for the Warriors. I'm going to get on board with Javins once again. He's currently 23 to 14. He's got seven caps to his name. And he's just playing a little bit more conservatively now. He can sit back a little bit, trying to go up top, getting a good angle. Takes down Coffee. Sees another one coming towards him. He's going to be able to get the better of him as well. So that's two on screen from him. Taking down B. Corey as well. Looks like someone's off the spawn. They are going to come towards him. He does see them momentarily. Is he oh. going to be able to get the better of Coffee there if he gets him with a nice jump shot onto that window ledge? But Foster now on that B flag getting taken down by a two piece from Hesh. That's good from him. Needs it to get himself back into this. Our Warrior is going to be able to get back though. Nearly 20 points the difference now. Silverback is getting further and further away from him. It is indeed four down. There was four down for Equi at one point. They really didn't take full advantage. That Swan here on the left hand side. He's going to get the pick. Yes, he does. They do manage to neutralise that B Dom. So he's going to have to do some work right now. Picks off one. That's a great payback kill as he spawns in. Look the left hand side on the cross. He takes the kill, and that is an important play as we see B Corey now trying to do some damage. They seem to have gained some momentum back here, Warriors. And if they if they want to keep this, they've got to take this mid control. He's got to control the left side and cause them to come round. But there is actually a player going underneath and up into B. There he is in right hand side, puts him off, it's Foster that goes down. He gets tagged up there from left hand side, gets a kill. And Corey doing some great defensive play. That gap has shrunk uh, by a, a massive amount of points. They've really done this and they're actually losing A. That triple cap really helped them. Yeah, they've got them back into this now. Look, four points. In the end, 50 seconds left on that clock. B, Corey seen three on his screen, not able to do any work, but two points of difference now. 55 seconds left on the clock here, Silverback. This is going right down to the wire. How have they managed to get themselves back into this after 20 points down? B it's, it's flag aggression. has been captured as well. Look at this. This is going to go to them as well. Look, it's all tied up. 40 seconds left on the clock. This is going to go right down to the very end. Important kills. One, Rainey. two, three. Oh, that was beautifully played. With the cap as well. That's big play from him. That puts them in the lead by two points now with 25 seconds left on the clock. Swain has just gone huge. He's about to go huge again. His teammate B. Corey oh. helping him out with a two-piece of his own. He's going to push into the middle. That's B. Corey with the three-piece. Goes to the fourth oh. of the spawn as well. B. Corey has unleashed his power into this Equi team. I think that's just won it for them, to be honest. Five points of difference. Ten seconds to go. What an end to this domination. Absolutely awesome. Warriors by name. I tell you what, they really didn't know what had happened there. As we see, they just literally came in. The, I'm gobsmacked. They were literally, they got the three cap, they closed the points down, and then it came down to that battle in the middle of B domination, and it was all about that. That, as you quite rightly said, won it for them. Outstanding plays. They will take domination 155 to 147. Gives them a nice seven-point win. Wow, that was impressive.